welcome to a new episode of Chats by My Girlfriend. Um, in this episode, we're going to be talking about... Living in Norway. Yeah. And or like experience. Yeah, experiences with living in Norway. How from my point of view, but I guess also from your point of view. I mean, I've been living here my whole life. Yeah, so I, I feel guess like you I have can a lot to t- say there as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we asked you guys again to send us questions regarding this subject. I think we're going to keep doing that every episode. Yeah. Um, and Ingrid wrote some down. I don't know what she's going to ask. Ingrid has been living in uh, Norway her whole life. She's yeah. uh, fully Norwegian. And I moved here in January. That is correct. So. Uh, okay. So the first question, uh, which is basically the question that I literally got asked like so much, which I, I'm a little bit surprised by because I didn't realize how many people knew about the the daylight situation in Norway. But That's turns like out what Norway is famous for. Yeah. But I, I get com- like, I don't think that I would person that is living there or life. I didn't, did not think that like that was the thing that a lot of people knew about. Yeah, because I keep talking about it like it's such a mind blowing thing. So the first question is, how do you cope with the lack of sunlight in the winter time? So I cope very badly with it. I feel like yeah. Um, as soon as it gets dark outside, I just feel like I need to lay in bed and sleep. Yeah, like for the information for the other people, we live on the west coast of Norway, a little bit up uh, north, uh, more up north. So we have, I'll say, like about three to four hours in the darkest times with daylight, no sunlight. We have zero sunlight, but daylight. Yeah, because we live on... I mean, we have sunlight in the city, yeah. but we live behind a mountain. So. Yeah, so we are in the shadows. Our island is in the shadows. I have tropical blood in me. Yeah, you do actually have that. I do not deal well with this. Why are you Norwegian? Like, it would be amazing if we had long distance and I just had to move to Spain for you, you know? It's not my fault you like the white folks. I know. Is that... Can we say that? <laughs> I have I a guess, type for is white that people. like opposite racism? No. No, like, what's it called? Like, not racism, but... um. That doesn't exist. Fetish, 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 fetishism. Fetishizing? I fetishize Norwegians. Yeah, well... Just kidding, I only fetishize my girlfriend. But... Hey, thank you. This was not about that. Well, Anyways. sorry. Uh, we spiral uh often no that's okay yeah that's the point uh, of the upfall in question we is also called this podcast spiraling by with my girlfriend <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> honestly but the following up question is also how do you cope with the um Sunlight. lack of lack of darkness uh, darkness in the summertime i guess it's just all it's just all very confusing for someone that is new to norway yeah obviously you are used to it it's not weird for you no but i guess in the wind in the w- sun Wait, I just had a big error. In the summertime, uh, we need blinding, um, like, curtains. Yeah, we, we do. don't have that right now. No. And I sleep very badly when it's light outside. Yeah. And this is a thing that my sister told me yesterday when I had her on the phone. There's this sunlight lamp. It's very expensive. But it, like, recreates a very um, realistic sunlight. And it makes your body... Yeah. think actually i had that one. Oh, you had it yeah my mom bought it did to it me work when I where went. is it uh, i don't know i think my brother has it in his room can we steal it from him we might because like my mom got it for me for christmas when i was studying in high school maybe that's what i want from your mom yeah because she really wanted me to like start waking up more but i was struggling so bad but the daylight didn't do any difference to me because i was like bitch it's daylight all the time in the summertime i'm used to it i sleep yeah. through it yeah yeah but I think dealing with the darkness um, is the hardest. Yeah. In the summertime, it's kind of cozy. Like, it's fun. Yeah, it's really weird when you go out in the summertime and then yeah. you get out of the club and it's broad daylight. It makes you feel so bad about the fact that you went out drinking. So that's the hard thing. Yeah, it is very confusing. But it's very confusing when you're out drinking and you're going home and it's daylight because... For me, personally, I lived here for so long and I still struggle with that. Like, I get pure anxiety yeah. by the fact that there's still daylight outside. Yeah. So, yeah. It makes you feel, like, way more shitty. Yeah. Conclusion. Uh, it is shit that we don't have uh, daylight I think in the wintertime. I think we winter just time. have way... I think we deserve to travel. I think, actually, the Norwegian government should give every Norwegian a free trip to, like, Spain. Huh. To That's cope an with interesting it. one. Because we'll it's not your <laughs> fault... <laughs> That you were born here. Like, I chose for this myself. Yeah, well, I don't deserve that trip. Norwegians are naturally... They have naturally they more... They go to th- Sweden. Yeah, no, yeah, they go to <laughs> Sweden. That's that, that's true. I know. 
but we have a really big lack of D vitamins and every winter uh, the Norwegian citizens buy in D vitamins and eat them like it's fucking candy yeah. uh, because we literally become so depressed. And you know, them. I already, as a mixed person, yeah. I already have to take extra D vitamins. Yeah. So I think I have to like take double. You might. No, double I don't D think that's vitamins. how it works, but <laughs> I mean, sure. Anyways, next question. Um, how is the educational system? This one is a little bit more like for like, because obviously you wouldn't know too much. No, but I do think it's interesting, this question, because we would always in school, there would always be this random teacher that looked up to n- like Scandinavian yeah. um, school systems and would just like, like we had this with economics. My teacher was like, oh my God, I saw this. They do this in Sweden. Okay, mm-hmm. that, uh, that's not Norway, but they were like, Scandinavia is doing this flip the classroom. You... Um, study your notes at home and we do like PowerPoint, like a video of the PowerPoint at home where the teacher sends you like a video of the class and then when you're in the class, you do the homework so he can help you. That was actually a great thing. I don't even know if that's a thing that you guys do. No, we haven't done that. Not in my school anyways. Mm. Well, we called it Flip the Classroom. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Because usually, when that's actually such a stupid thing. When you get like all the information in your one hour class Mm. and then you have to do the homework alone, and then where is your teacher when you need him? Yeah, that's true. So it was actually such a good idea to like, the teacher would like record we his have, PowerPoint. We have something that's called Lexialp, mm. which is like uh, an extra hour after school where the teacher stay uh, stay with you to help you with your I homework. I think they have that in a lot of countries. Cause yeah. I had that too. Yeah. Yeah. But that's like, I feel like that's like the, the help that you get though yeah uh the educational system in norway i think it's pretty very good <laughs> pretty, pretty very pretty good. very good considering if you're like uh, comparing it to any other place uh, yeah i think this is a very hard question because obviously it's probably different with every country yeah because it's probably also very good in sweden and yeah. in the net in the <laughs> in the Netherlands. <laughs> in the Netherlands. I like the system we have because your good. system in the Netherlands is shit, in my opinion. I just think it's too confusing. But uh, then again, obviously, if I were to. S- I don't myself understand your system either. But our system makes complete sense. But it it's doesn't to me. But it's like from first to tenth, and then it's from first to th- third. And but then that's so weird. We have from first. And then you have university. We have first to eighth grade, and then you start over in high school, and you have first to four five or six depending that makes on what no level sense. you do <laughs> you're trying to explain <laughs> no, this no, no, with no, like no, no. so much more me. complicated listen to me i have Beautiful been listening to you for a long while girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> listen so basically and then after that you go to either college or university depending on how stupid or smart you are yeah i'm well, just kidding no one is stupid everyone is learning in their own way um, uh, that was a joke obviously you guys don't cancel me i feel like it's very tricky that we started a podcast because we're so easy to cancel <laughs> we really are yeah. very easy to cancel um, should we leave that one out? <laughs> 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 uh, just kidding. Uh, just kidding. So yeah, I think the educational system in Norway is pretty good. Uh, and um, I mean, there's definitely things that you can get better on. But uh, on a general basis, uh, a lot of people travel to Norway to study because of the great educational system. Yeah. And it's free. So that is like a great... I think for Norwegians. Yeah, for Norwegian citizens. It's not free for non norwegians Well, there's also certain schools that's not free. You have private schools and stuff like that. Most In the Netherlands, you have to pay, it, like... I most schools are studied free. for two years, and I have to pay the Dutch government 2,000 euro back because I didn't finish my study. Yeah, no, thank you. I need to pay, like, 16 euros a month now for the coming years. But you have, like, 30 years to deal with that. Yeah. That's but it's l- fucked up. Long time, though. And uh, did de- Next question. Yeah. Come what? with something not school related, yeah. so it's like not that boring. Uh, what is your favorite <laughs> part about living in Norway? Oh, I have a few. A big one, nature. Like yeah. to me, like mountains is a must. Mountains, the mountains, the nature, oceans, the northern lights, the mountains and the nature. Oh yeah, everything. Yeah, the northern lights is a plus. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think winter time in Norway is pretty cozy. It's beautiful. The snow. Um, yeah, there's I like a lot the of air. 
Yeah, and oh, and I the feel air like is great. Yeah, the water, the, the tap quality, water, the tap water. Yeah, is absolutely. Okay, but the, and the chocolate. And no, 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 wait, wait, wait. The a chocolate. Lot, no, a lot of people, a lot of people, and I, uh, even you, did that once. What? You came to me, were like, no, but all water tastes the same, or like at least like, oh no, you also said like the Netherlands water, like the Dutch water is the best. I'm like, there's no fucking way. No. <laughs> you have not tasted the water. That. Also, all water does not taste the same. Okay. If you are a water drinker, or you don't even have to be a water drinker to know that all Everyone water does. Water not drinker except for no, you. No, but like, what the fuck you is that attack for? I'm all. just saying, like, there's like a big difference of like Dutch water and Norwegian water, <laughs> or like even Swedish water and Norwegian water, or even West Coast Norwegian water. Okay, and we get also it. The water. Norwegian water. Um, so I'm it's just saying, it's like her. the best thing in the world, and I know that all the Norwegians that is listening right now, they will agree with me. So I don't, I, I understand that you're trying to cut me off because you don't find this conversation very interesting. No, but I know just way that my Norwegian followers Norway. will appreciate this. I think what is very great about Norway, well, as well, is just everything is so like the government. <laughs> no, I don't mean it like that. Sounded very stupid. But okay, Regina George. Everything what? What did you say? Regina George. <laughs> that was like a blonde moment. Okay, <laughs> what shut the up. government, what? <laughs> no, everything is taken care of so well here, I feel like. Ooh, there's, yeah. a, there's a lot of wealth here and everything is... Why are you doing that to your hair? I wasn't... Everything is taken care of so well. Um, like, it's just like a nice country. Like, it's clear what you have to do when you get here to like be legal here. Uh, that was not clear. Shut That's up. a big lie. Why are you exposing <laughs> me? <laughs> <laughs> no, we didn't. Off. No, listen, Damn listen, 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 listen. We did not do our research. I did not do my research, but once I was sitting for it, it was pretty easy. And that's a lie. We did do our research. Okay. And we even called them and tried to ask them. You are so annoying. You're annoying me so much right now. If you want to see us fight, go watch this episode on YouTube. You get what I mean. I have the same with the Netherlands. I love how well. No, actually, the Netherlands sucks. Um, you know what I, I love? Say- Healthcare. Healthcare. <laughs> it's good. It's we have free healthcare. Or no, it's not free. No, but listen, it's like I paid a hundred and eighty euros for therapy in the Netherlands. This was a private therapy though. But here I'm also going to a private one, I think. Yeah, you are. But and it, it's thirty but euros it's, for every it's, session. It's it's through the healthcare system, so it's still it's amazing. Not private. I love it. Literally, even my, my therapist in the Netherlands told me when I was like, I need to get a diagnose. <laughs> My therapist in the Netherlands was like, no, my psychiatrist was like, well, I saw in your papers that you're moving to Norway. I think you should just do it there because here. It's way better. Yeah. And here in the Netherlands, the waiting list is going to be so long. You're long gone by then. They don't take you seriously. No, no, no. They, they told say, me to like, do Oh, you're trying to kill yourself? Oh, uh, have you tried like meditation? <laughs> I didn't. I never said I wanted to kill myself. No, but I th- that was just a general basis. Of yeah. Like They're just like, the do you, did you try mindfulness? I was like. Excuse me, no, I have not tried mindfulness. And I wanted to slap her in the face. I was like, what are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Why are your eyes drifting away? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. My cleavage isn't even showing. I know. Yeah, I think those were my favorite things. Can we talk about the least favorite things? Because I have a lot. Am I going to answer these questions Can too, I- or is it just for you? You just had a whole speech about water. For like two minutes. You had a whole speech for a speech for like ten minutes. Yeah. Okay, that's that's equal. I get that. <laughs> um, yeah, but you can also say the things you hate about Norway. Yeah, the alcohol is so expensive. That's true. I agree. I don't like that. You pay like fifteen euros for a bad bottle of wine. Uh, I think it's a pretty good one, but you know. No, but you get what I mean. Yeah, In I the Netherlands, it. fifteen euros for a bottle of wine is like the best of the best. Yeah, that's not true. You have more expensive. Than I d- that, but, but I really don't think like expensive wine equals good wine. <laughs> no, but you get what I mean. Yeah, in the Netherlands, fifteen euros is like for a very it's expensive for a bottle. Yeah. This is what we spend on wine normally. Yeah. So that's a thing. And it's a little bit cold sometimes. And I guess we can say that the darkness in the winter time is also not Oh, it was minus four today. Minus four oh. degrees. That was shitty. It was shitty. Yeah, I didn't like that. I'm still like freezing. That's why I'm literally like trying to like And I'm just like, no, so it's not cold at all. It's bullshit. Um, anyways, what difficulties uh, have you faced living together? Because we obviously live together now. That's why we're talking about living in Norway. We moved in together in January. Yeah. Uh, and um, 
yeah, we're going strong, but what difficulties have been the hardest? Is this a conversation you want to have on the podcast? I don't really care. You don't know what you triggered now. What do you mean? Did I trigger anything? No, I feel like I asked, just asked a pretty decent question. I'm just question. kidding. Difficulties of living together. Um, I'm really struggling with this question. Yeah? I think it's a little bit personal. I think... I you d- never I do the dishes. I cook for you and you never clean up after Well, this yourself. wasn't about triggers and is that the oh. most difficult thing? <laughs> yeah. Like, I think, that is the I most think personally thing. the most difficult thing is to always be in each other's space. I feel like that everybody, every couple it g- goes through that. You I know? don't really mind the, you being in my space. The, the, su- the surprise of like dating someone, moving in together and then having them in your space, in your area at all times. That's like a, I think like a... For you, yeah. Because no, for a couple in general. Okay. I think everybody struggles with I'm that. I'm not. What? I'm not struggling with that. No, th- I know you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> but this isn't just about you, is it? No, it is, though. You it's just asked the question. What is for both of us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyways, I get that. But well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think that personally is a thing that was a surprise. Yeah. Not necessarily a su- surprise, but just no, how, we much, knew that. how much it would like affect Oh. Us. No, actually. Oh, maybe... Maybe the fact that you're so used to being in each other's space that sometimes you got to go on a date, like, yeah. remind yourself that you're a couple. Yeah. <laughs> you're not, you're like, Ingrid's just burping at every second that she can. Does sometimes that happen? Like, <laughs> behave. Would you do that on a date? <coughs> okay, yes, in your case, you would. I did, and I do, and I will keep doing <laughs> it. Uh, it's a question. part of me, so, yeah, I don't know what to tell you about that. Burping is a part of her personality. Yeah. Anyways, uh, how is, did uh, I don't get her citizenship? Um, well, for me, it was very easy because I'm Dutch. So mm. f- in Norway, if you're from a, uh, from, you have like these, I don't know how to call it, like Schengen countries. And then you have EA something. You have all these terms, but the Netherlands was part of the countries EU. that. EU. No, you have, because di- not all the countries in EU are accepted. Yeah. You have Schengen countries. Huh. Like Switzerland is not a part of it. But yeah. Switzerland is not a part of you. Not a p- a part of you. <laughs> no, but you get what I know. <laughs> can we cut that out? I'm editing it. No, I will leave it in so everyone can hear how dumb I am. But um, no, it was easy for me. But I know for people that are from Greece, it's, for example, harder. Yeah. For example, they're um, uh, from the States. Yeah. They from don't Australia. They have to do their driver's license again, for you example. You gotta have a new vi- visa. Yeah, and you I didn't have to do that. It was okay with my Dutch passport. Mm-hmm. Um, in the beginning, I had to come back every three months. You like had to find a country. job. You had to yeah, have, you have a to reason. Find a job and a Being reason. in a relationship with someone is not a reason. No. Uh, unless you have been dating for five years. Yeah, and if you're married, obviously. Yeah. And I still don't have like a Norwegian passport, and I don't know if I want to. I am very happy with my Dutch passport as well. Well, why are you getting Nothing. offended by that? Um, anyways. Oh. <laughs> what? Why are you getting offended why, by why, that? Why did you get offended by my reaction? I'm getting offended by you getting offended. Anyways, we're, this is not a place to fight. Um, <laughs> have you lived in Norway your whole life? That, that one was mainly for me. But yeah, I have lived in Norway uh, my whole life. And I will keep living in Norway uh, until further notice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I like, are you going to say your whole life because this one is triggered already so that's why <laughs> temper is getting shorter and shorter because i said something earlier in this uh, podcast we fight like that i don't couple. even that i don't even remember saying i don't even know what i said but something triggered her and no. now her temper is going to get shorter and shorter no, throughout this podcast i know you um anyways but yeah i have and i love norway and i won the lottery by getting born here and i'm very lucky and i'm so happy about it and i'm so happy that i have a girlfriend that is norwegian and i just live here now yeah it's pretty I great i find that pretty cool yeah um what do you think of the food and the people here is this one for me mostly well i will just start off with saying that christmas dinner in norway is absolute top tire so that's what I wanted to say about that. You, If you ever come to Norway on Christmas time, you got to check that out because that food is fucking delicious. Anyways, you answer. Uh, the people are very closed off. It's hard to make connections with Norwegian people unless there is alcohol involved. And this is something I struggle with. I don't have my own friends. Mm. 
and this is like a hard thing yeah mm -hmm. anyways i'm okay you guys i'm all good but it is a hard thing um but other than that when you get to know them they're very nice yeah but they're closed off they really are they keep their own space yeah, yeah. and then the food well i come from a family where my mom always cook all kind of different cultures um and a lot of spices so i think coming from me maybe it's not the most fair opinion but to me norwegian food isn't that good because it's very it's steamed vegetables it's boiled potatoes it's a lot of meat and you gotta like that it's very yeah west i mean west european either you like it or you don't yeah but that's all i'm not gonna yes. You thought I was going to be way more rude on this. I really did because... I'm being know. respectful. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. I like deer. Deer no. is good. Deer we just stew. had deer stew from With my your grandma. grandma. It was oh, great. Oh, wow. I'm still thinking about that. Yeah. And I could eat that every day. Uh, and also, I really love the lamb. Yeah, I don't like lamb. I don't support eating lamb meat. Also, I came here because as a vegetarian. Yes, because lamb, lamb mad lamb life matter it just but sounds deer so life cruel don't. to me that you kill a baby because but what the about baby Bumby? tastes way better but what about bumby bumby will grow into a full-grown deer and it will be a sad too but if you don't you agree that killing the baby because it tastes better by killing it when it's still a baby that's, that's actually a, a myth cruel. the baby does not taste better uh they have done that test a million times and people don't actually know the difference from the baby and the so why adult. is there why is whole because it's about the luxury of it like People that's eat so it because that's it's so messed up people eat it because they think it's better because then why don't they just sell sheep meat and tell people that it's lamb yeah well what if they do they might do they should but they're not allowed right there's no, like they're rights not. yeah Europe. you can't you can probably do that in you america can't sell something in lie about it about but, what uh, the insides is yeah i came to norway as a vegetarian <laughs> because there's so much meat here i felt so rude saying no to your mom's dinner every time that i ended up eating meat again I love hot dogs though. Hot dogs is a great culture yeah. here. Yeah. We do have hot People dogs. think it was like a New York thing. No. No. It's a Norwegian, <laughs> it's a Norwegian thing. thing. Hot dogs on the grill. Yeah. <laughs> like oh, yes. Outside in the nature. Yeah. <laughs> I'll is. insert a picture. Yeah. With the preferably. I think my uh, MacBook is almost look. dying. So we got to round it up. Oh, shit. Yeah. Well, I have the last question. Okay. Uh, what is the biggest difference from the Netherlands? We got to be really quick because it dies very quickly. Biggest difference on the Netherlands? And here, huh? I think in the Netherlands there are so many people. It's always crowded. It's always loud. It's always something happening. And mm -hmm. here it's way more. The the, it's very slow paced. Mm -hmm. It's very good for my mental health. That's yeah. what I'm gonna say as an answer to this question. Okay, I thought you were also gonna go on a rant there because there's oh, so and there's also way you. more better food places in Netherlands. But that's because there's like like because there's more people here. There's like we live on an island. There's yeah. no takeaway things. Yeah. Like in the Netherlands, I can just do 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 on my phone and order like food to my home. Yeah, I can't I do that here. It's more of a big country, and uh, Norway is very isolated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I guess that was it for this episode. It was. We had to rush the ending. Sorry. Yeah, about I'm that. so very sorry. Yeah. But it's okay. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I hope we covered all your questions yeah thank you so much for listening is there anything else you want to say baby no i think that was it all right well thank you for listening and we will talk to you in our next episode bye bye, bye.